Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry about my glasses if you guys see the reflection in them but my contacts were bothering me yesterday so I took them out and we have just been home today so I haven't even bothered to put my contacts in. So I decided that today, tonight I guess, I'm going to do a vlog style nighttime routine. So the reason I am going to be doing this routine vlog style, did I already say it's a nighttime routine? I'm pretty sure I did because I'm losing my mind. So the reason why I'm doing this routine vlog style is because my husband is at work. So I would thought it would be um, like fun, interesting, um, helpful. Hi. If I showed you guys what my nighttime routine looks like when my husband is at work and I am being, I don't want to say single parent because I don't want to offend anybody, but on the nights where I am parenting alone. So, the first thing I'm going to do is make dinner for the kids and myself, then we are going to move on to bath time and then bedtime. And in that bedtime routine, we are going to like read books and say our prayers and do all of that. That kind of falls into that category. And then once the kids are all nice and tucked in and asleep, I will show you guys what I do to kind of prepare the house for the next day, any cleaning that I have to do, and what I choose to do in my free time because, hi, the only time I really get free is when the kids are asleep at night. Bless you. Bless you. And most of the time I choose to spend that with my husband and on the weekends, usually Saturdays and Sundays, he is not home at night. So that's kind of like the only time that I have to myself to do the things that I like to do. So I'm going to take you guys with me as I get dinner right made and then we will move on from there. Yeah, that's her new thing. She likes to do that all the time. All the time, mamas. You ready to go help me make dinner? Are you ready to help me make dinner? All right, so it is 7.45 and the kids are in the bath, all three of them at one time because that is what is easiest for me. And they're still at that age where they don't care yet. Hi, Weekend. Say hi, buddy. Okay, so while I go get this one dressed and her big sister gets dressed, I just let him play in there. There's like not even like six inches of water in there. So I'm going to let him play in there for just a little bit so we can have some boy time by himself because his sisters don't like playing in there when he's splashing around. So I'm going to let him play and I'm going to go get the girls dressed and then I'm gonna come get him out and then we are all going to sit in bed and watch one episode and read the story and say our prayers and then it is off to bed. Okay, so both of the girls are dressed and ready for bed and it is time to go get brother. What show do you want to watch before we go to bed? Daniel Tiger. Daniel Tiger? Yeah. Kitty. There's I a kitty. I love kitties. Yeah. I want a kitty when we move to a new house. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to name your kitty? Um, I think Rosa Princess. Rosa Princess. Yeah. I think that's a good name. I love Rosa Princess. Look how good out of the bag. Oh, funny. You want to go get your pajamas on so we can watch a Daniel Tiger? Yeah. Okay, let's go. You found your cookie. You found your cookies from a little bit ago? Yeah. You gotta clean those up, mamas. Can't see it. Nope. Oh! And the cupcake came out of her mouth. Oh, yeah. Let's go get her. <laughs> Regan, what are you doing, silly girl? Regan, what are you doing? Oh, are you sitting like... Mom! Oh, you need help, buddy? I think, oh, I think your arm's stuck. Come right here. Come here, you little... 
Look it. It's on backwards here. Put your arm out. You wanna watch Daniel Tiger? Yeah. Can I give your boo-boo a kiss? Oh, oh, here you go. Here we go. We got the Paw Patrol on. We got it. Oh, no. Just like Do you for Nana? Yeah, Nana got it for you? Okay, let me give your boo-boo a kiss. Mwah. Well, ha hey, how'd you get your boo-boo? Uh, I hear on, on the toy box? Okay, get up in bed. Okay, everybody get up in bed. We are going to watch one episode of Daniel Tiger, okay? One, two, and my friend, I tell you about, I see you again. That was a very good song, buddy. Very, very good. So we are watching one episode of Daniel Tiger, like I said, and she's trying to look around me to see the TV. We are going to finish this one episode, then we are going to say our prayers, and it's going to be off to bed. So it is 8.15 almost, it's 8.12, so 8.15, and the two older kids are halfway done watching their show, and little Miss Reagan, which most of the time she does not sit still long enough to watch anything, obviously because she's a baby. So, while the two older kids are finishing up their show, I'm going to quickly go around the house and collect, hi, collect all the things that don't belong where they need to go. And then once their show is over, I'm going to send them to their room and they are gonna get tucked in in bed. And then I'm going to nurse her to sleep and then I go back in there, say their prayers, kiss them goodnight. And then I will come back and do the dishes, if that makes any sense at all. So, I'm going to clean up everything really fast, and then by the time I'm done, their show will be over. All right, so as you can see, Daniel Tiger is not over. I'm going to nurse this little one to... <laughs> yeah, she's hungry. I'm going to nurse her to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna nurse her to sleep, and then I'm going to go put the older ones to bed. They are in their room right now just picking up the toys that they were playing with earlier, so. Yeah. She'll normally fall asleep within five, maybe 10 minutes. So by the time um, she's already in bed, their room should be nice and clean. Then we will say our prayers and they will all be asleep for the night. Well, not her. She still wakes up every three hours, but you know what I mean. I love Jesus, everybody, and subscribe. Love God. Mom. Yeah. I want to go to bed. You want to go to bed? Okay, mm -hmm. I love you. Love you, Mom. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Sit tight. Sit tight. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, come give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Love you. Say good night. Good night. I love you. Love you. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Good night. Have a girl, Mama. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Sweet tight. Sweet tight. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> all right, so all three kids are asleep. It is 8.42. I did not get to eat dinner with them because, like, sometimes that doesn't happen as a mom. I was more worried about them getting food in their bellies so we could shower and get ready for bed. And I think I accidentally deleted the clip because my memory on my camera was full and I went on a deleting rampage and I think I deleted the clip of them eating dinner. But that's all right, it was just dinner. So I think I think everything else is still okay. So if I le am leaving this clip in, it's because I deleted our dinner clip. But I did not get to eat dinner and they just ate macaroni and cheese and I'm not a big macaroni and cheese fan. And I am making myself something really quick. It's probably not the best dinner or the most filling dinner, but that is all right. I am a mom and sometimes, like I said, we don't have time. So, it is Sunday night, which means Fear the Walking Dead is on! Yay! This is like the one thing I look forward to every Sunday, is either The Walking Dead or The Fear coming back on. So, I am going to get my dinner, go sit down, and eat really fast. Oh, also, I'm going to show you what I have to do before I go to sleep tonight. So, I have lots of dishes, not really that much, but I have dishes I need to do. 
I have a ginormous mess over here. I will show you guys that in a second. But this is a load I just took out of the laundry. It is just the table, the tablecloth for the table and a bunch of towels. So I, let me turn on this light. I am making necklaces, so I don't even want to put these away because I need to finish them today and tomorrow. We are having a big festival in the town where my parents live, and I am making necklaces to sell. So those are already strung. I just need to finish them. But when they are done, they look just like this. They're cute little dainty necklaces for little girls to wear. They are super cute. And I am going to probably leave this here for tomorrow. Kind of clean it up a little bit, but there's no point in putting it away tonight if I have to get up in the morning and do it. Do it anyways. So I am going to eat and start working on my banner. Watch Fear the Walking Dead. And then once that's over, I'll probably do the dishes because by then it'll be 10 o'clock. And like I said, my husband doesn't get home till like 11 or 11.30. So I want to be up when he gets home anyways. I'm probably not going to go to sleep because I rarely ever do on Sundays. So I will get the kitchen all cleaned and the laundry folded and put away. And then it will be time for me to shower and get in bed myself. Alright, so I know the lighting is not the best so I had to turn on the flash on my phone. But for dinner I am just eating rice with some vegetables with some hot sauce mayo, sriracha mayo on top. I'm really not the biggest fan of meat. Like, I eat meat and chicken and things like that. I don't eat seafood. But I do eat meat, but I'm not, like, the biggest fan of it. Like, I can totally have a meal and it have no meat involved. So, when my husband is not home and I'm not having to cook meat for dinner, I really rarely eat it when I am just by myself. So, like I said, the kids had macaroni and cheese. So, I'm just going to enjoy my rice and veggies. And Fear the Walking Dead is about to be on in, like, two minutes. So I am probably just going to relax with my food and enjoy this little quiet time before I have to get back up and start folding laundry and doing the dishes. Alright, so I'm sure that the quality of this clip is not going to be good, so I apologize for that ahead of time. And you can still see the reflection in my glasses, but that is alright. So. I just finished a Fear the Walking Dead and if you can come over here I got the laundry folded and most of it put away but some of it I have to wait until tomorrow like the things right here I just have to wait until tomorrow because those go in my room and the kids room and there are children sleeping in both of those rooms so I still have this huge mess on the table that needs to get put away so I'm probably just going to wait until tomorrow to do that. But my husband just texted me. It is 10.50 right now. He's on his way home. So he should be home around 11.15. I got his lunch packed and ready for tomorrow. And I think that's all that I need to do, I think. The kitchen is clean. The laundry is done. Most of the laundry got put away, but there's still a few things, like I said. And I'm just going to leave the kitchen table to tomorrow because I'm not even going to try to put it away. That Does that ever happen with you? Let me take these off. Does that ever happen with you guys where you need to put stuff away because you want to have like a clean house or a clean room or a clean area? And, but you really need to not put the things away because you know if you put them away they're going to get like jumbled up and not be organized anymore. That is my dilemma right now. I need to track all of my necklaces that I've made. I need to write everything down, you know, for business purposes. And I'm afraid if I put it all away, it's just going to get messed up and then I'm going to have to start from square one. So honestly, I'm just going to cut my losses, leave it here for tonight, and just deal with it tomorrow. So this weekend is going to be exciting. I have a really full week ahead of me. I had a busy, a pretty busy weekend and I'm glad it is Sunday and that the weekend is over and that tomorrow is Monday. I know most people really don't like Mondays, but I am not that kind of person. I really enjoy my Monday through Friday because me and my husband and the kids, we just have a routine and it is normal and it works for us, but on the weekends, it always manages to get jumbled up and my husband works the nights during the week the weekend so I don't know I'm not right now in this moment in life I don't enjoy the weekends that might change in the future but for now I don't I like Monday Monday through Friday so 
yes, I do have a really busy week ahead of me and the week next weekend is going to be even busier than this past weekend was. So I am just going to pick up the necklaces that I have laid out on the floor because I can't leave those there because the kids will wake up in the morning and destroy them and that will not be fun. So I'm going to pick up my beads and then I am going to shower really quickly. I'm probably not gonna wash my hair because, I don't know, it's it's not super dirty. I know it looks dirty because of the lighting, but it's not. But um, I'm going to pick those things up and then I am going to jump in the shower really fast. And by the time I get out, my husband's probably gonna be home and then we're going to go to bed because it'll be like 11.30 already. So. Thank you guys so much for joining me in my, I guess it's like more of like a vlog, not so much a nighttime routine, but it's our nighttime routine and this is just how it worked out that I got to film it today. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you're new, it'll be somewhere right here and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, good night.